for large scale deployments emulation and prototyping is not feasible therefore before we actually implement the content delivery network it is important to look at the theoretical side of it that is where mathematical modeling problem formulation and solutions come into play so in this module we are going to look at uh, two issues resource uh, management and allocation in terms of mathematical model that we might like to consider and we are going to look at the need the problems that are typically addressed in cdn and the notations which are used obviously the need for mathematical modeling comes from the fact that typical problems in cdn such as uh, uh, resource allocation of hardware uh, bandwidth computing resources uh, and their reappropriation or reallocation is a serious concern because for cdn the number of users is changing arbitrarily this results into some interesting um, definable problems and these problems can be translated into mathematical models uh, which best describe the scenarios and then these mathematical models can be solved by using some classical theories and best experiences the typical problems that we face in cdns are known to us already for the sake of uh, mathematical formulation let's look at uh, these into two categories we have uh, fundamental problems the problems which are easy to state and easy to model and then we have integrated problems that could be comprising more than one of these fundamental problems uh, let's look at a typical example of cache server placement um we are going to discuss that then request routing and object placement uh, these are all very specific issues which are related to cdns before we move to the uh, the server placement let's look at some typical notations these notations are the basics in mathematical model where we have clients which make requests for some content in the form of objects then we have the servers uh, the content itself the objects and then the requests which are made in the form of uh, http or soap request then the physical distance between the client and the server and then the costs which are incurred in operating the server including the computing the storage and uh, bandwidth requirements then uh, we look at the uh, capacity of a certain caching server it is one of the variables that we can define uh, the bandwidth which shall be consumed by an object the processing power consumed and the eventually the revenue which is generated by the uh, whole activity that is servicing or provisioning the content to the requesting client then the latency in terms of uh, we can say the round trip time or the delay then we have the variables which are more boolean in nature for instance if certain request is entertained if a request is redirected to the caching server if the origin server is not there uh, so all these things are based on our understanding of how cdns work so before we actually go into an example scenario let's just be comfortable that yes indeed all these different uh, variables and different uh, units can be assigned some the caching server placement problem is a serious problem where we are interested in deploying the caching servers optimally at locations which in which we have certain uh, variety let's say we've got m locations and we've got n servers we need to deploy n servers at n locations out of m total locations this would involve reducing the overall cost function the cost function is de determined by the overall traffic so we'd like to minimize the traffic likewise the delay that the clients experience we want the clients to experience lesser delay and then the overall delivery cost which in involves the hardware software bandwidth everything included then 
this can be mathematically described by a very simple expression that is the cost of serving client i from server j it can be determined in terms of f h c and uh, that's about it now what are these variables we need to go back into the table and see if these expressions make some sense then we have the static data placement static data placement is more of integrated problem because here we have issue we do not have the origin server we are relying on the proxy server or the uh, uh, cache server now the job is to place the objects at uh, various locations these locations could be the proxy or the caching servers to minimize the cost the cost for a client to access the object has to be reduced similarly if the object is held at the caching server then we will have a variable um, which is binary uh, z j k if for a k object if it is served by a caching server the cost is going to be 1 otherwise it's going to be 0 another particular variable that might be of interest to us is x i j k it means if an object is served by a client um, by a server node uh, which holds a copy this particular variable is going to return a 1 otherwise it's going to return a 0 it means we can imagine a mathematical equation that is getting a resultant value coming from different variables this could be from simple problem like server placement or it could be more complicated problem like um, integrated uh, example of static object placement this is the mathematical formulation let's not go into the variables because uh, that's going to take some more time uh, this is actually integer linear program it's a optimization problem where we would like to minimize the overall cost so it's an objective function that we would like to minimize now this has some constraints the constraints are determined by x i j k we are interested in summing up the total cost it takes for the object to be served by a nearest server and then we have the same variable z j k that's going to have either a zero or a one value if that particular object was served by a certain server or not now with these mathematical equations we have the problems now these problems could be solved by some workarounds the exact solutions which are going to take more time and of course these are going to be more expensive could have some uh, simplifying measures for example we have something known as Bender's decomposition actually it splits a large problem into two small sub problems so it means using a binary tree kind of arrangement a large problem could be divided into sub problems each sub problem could be further divided into a sub sub problem in this way we can break down a very large problem into various small sub problems if each of these sub problems is solved then eventually that problem can be solved then we have some uh, relaxation assumptions uh, which could be uh, used in um, relaxing some constraints this that is known as like lagrangian relaxation now this uh, uh, lagrangian relaxation and decomposition helps us to remove certain constraints which would not result into too much of performance degradation now these are the exact solutions but then we have another fast and easy mechanism that is heuristics heuristics is to basically hit and trial that is uh, if you are looking for some kind of optimal solution then instead of uh, trying each and every possible solution you could go for greedy heuristic algorithm that searches the best possible alternative um, at, at each iteration and if you are interested in not going beyond certain iterations so the best possible fit in that number of iterations could be the best uh, greedy heuristic output now this is going to result into a faster scalable solution and it's a better uh, less optimal work than exact solution now these are the solutions to the problems that we had initially modeled in the mathematical relationship now this reference is again by Rajkumar Bhaiya 
uh, Mukaddam Pathan. This is from the Content Delivery Networks. 